Okay, so I've taken the thing to pieces actually, and inside there is a circular drum with four quite thin stairs holding that drum apart. And on the rotating bit of it, there we go. This time we've got five stairs and a freely free to rotate axle. Now looking at this, I think that's a little bit flimsy actually. So what I want to do is construct a generator ring. And the generator ring is going to take all of these little coils and all of these magnets. These are ferrite magnets. I've got a hundred of them. I think it cost me about a tenner, something like that. This is actually stainless steel, non-magnetic stainless steel. So I have to make a generator ring that I think is going to be strong enough to take all the forces that are going to be on it. Then I'm going to make that ring out of this stuff. Now, this is sold here in the UK for UPVC trim. You can buy it in the US as Sintra board, but it's quite handy because this is um, 47 millimeters thick. And it's the same size, actually, as the magnets, which is great. So what I have to do is turn this into a circle that's the same size as that. And what I've done is I've taken a piece of MDF drawn a circle on it with my homemade compass, which I'm quite pleased about, drilled a load of holes and stuck some four inch nails through them. And what that means is I can take this stuff and with its own natural spring, put it into that jig and it will spring out to form a circle. It won't be strong enough, I don't think. So I've got another piece that I'm going to put in there as an inner piece to help push everything into shape. So that'll be the circle. Now the good thing about this stuff here, this UPVC, is it's actually quite flexible and quite strong, but it glues with crazy glue stronger than the original material. So I'm going to glue that together and make a band out of it that will be the band that carries the coils, because this is going to be the fixed band. The rotating one's going to be inside that. So when you've done, what you get is this surprisingly lightweight yet rigid hoop that will hold its own circular shape, which is pretty cool. Now all we need to do is take all those coils that we made and glue them on to the inside. You put a bit of glue on, put a clamp on, and go all around the edge until you've put all the coils on. So once that's all dry, actually, it's quite safe to take it out of the jig, and there it is. Now you'll notice there's a ring around the top, and I've drilled that out and uh, fed all the wires through, but there isn't one at the bottom. Now it needs two rings, because this will have a tendency over time to spring out, and if we put a ring there, it'll help prevent that tendency. So to make that ring, all I've done is mitre together um, four bits of builder's board, or uh, Sintra board, whatever you've got. I've mitered them together, glued the joints, and I'm going to cut them out so that it's the outer diameter to one side and the inner diameter to the other side using this cutting tool that we made in a previous video. Now I mapped all of this up with that compass that we made in a previous video. So all you do with the cutting tool obviously is put it in its pre-prepared hole and slide it around until you've got to where it wants to be. So I'll cut those out and attach that. Okay, so after I'd put that ring on, all I did was drive some brass pins in the bottom, wind the coil wires round and solder the whole thing to it. And that's the stator body. Now, when we put the rotor on, it does need something of a guide to help that keep that rotor true. So we need a block to go on the stator body. And I'm going to use this stuff again, this builder's board stroke Sintra. It's amazing stuff, actually. It glues with super glue stronger than the original material. So it's lightweight, strong, and glues really, really easily. And we're going to use our guide again to construct it. Here I've got three at one centimeter, four arms, and then a couple of twiddly bits to make it look pretty. And all I'm actually gonna do is glue the whole thing together. So just place it on there and get gluing. One arm at every 45 degrees. So once you put those bits together, you'll have something like that. Now you can see I'm using my jig again. I've put an eight mil rod in the center, so it's centered. This has got an eight mil hole in it and that just feeds onto that rod. Line everything up and glue it down. Okay, and that's the stator finished. Obviously it goes in there. That's a lovely fit. The other way around, incidentally, but that's where it goes. And if you're worried at all about this stuff, then this is the stuff you find in British homes all the time. It's what's on, used on the roof line. 
and gluing it with uh, cyan or acrylic glue is exactly how it's fixed. So this is weather weatherproof, extremely good bond and shouldn't be fragile at all. But I guess we're going to find out. Anyway, the next job is clearly the rotor and that'll be in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.